This is the power plant in Atlanta. It's the WCW's training facility for professional wrestlers. And once a month, the power plant holds open tryouts for its program. We are looking for athletes who can be part of the future of the WCW. About 10 or 15% of the ones that come through the door will actually make it through to the end. The wrestling business today is a very cosmetic. We're looking for people very well built physically. We're looking for people with good attitude. We're looking for people with heart. You've got to have heart in this business. You have to be tough enough to have something to pull from when times get tough. Everybody up! Kind of underestimated professional wrestling. I thought it was just had to learn how to take falls. I didn't realize these guys were in such great physical condition. Everybody up! I've been through college football, pro football, all kinds of different leagues. It's a different kind of conditioning. It's, it's a whole different ball game. These are professional athletes. They really are. And my hat's off to them. I respect them. This by far is the hardest thing I've ever done. I have to tell my buddies in baseball, don't ever cry to me about how tough baseball is. Here, you have pain involved. Fifteen new recruits joined the class this morning. Half will be gone by noon. Only three will be back tomorrow. Just so you guys make it through this right here, this don't mean they're going to end up on TV. They got to have something that people want to see. Oh, I'll come back, yeah. I'm just not ready. These guys are in phenomenal shape. These guys are like Iron Man. They don't stop. They're machines. I just wasn't ready. I thought I was ready. I wasn't ready at all. Like, phenomenal. I can't believe some of these guys are not even breaking a sweat yet. I mean, it's on TV. You think you could do anything on TV, right? Ah, uh, power plant. I went in there the first day. Really had no idea what to expect. And I saw guys that were falling out all around me due to exhaustion. And uh, I don't know. I guess something kicked inside of me that I wasn't going to get broken. Ready! Ready! What are you doing over there? Let's go. Get right over here where you're supposed to be. Sarge is, is uh, very comical. He's about 5'4 of, of dynamite. This is a tough sport. We don't have off season. We don't ever, you know, plus we, uh, we travel a lot. I mean, uh, I mean, this is actually the easy part. I look for a lot of heart. If they got a lot of heart and some ability, then we can get around with everything else. Heart is something you can't teach somebody. You got to love this business. I've watched wrestling since I was a little boy. and I said one day I was going to be in there. I've done several factory jobs and didn't really like that kind of life. So I want this kind of life. The fame, the fortune, everything that goes with it. Basically, because I like the idea of being just walking down on the street and somebody knowing me, saying, hey, you know, I seen you on the TV wrestling, let me have your autograph, or just being somebody, you know, Get, making a name for yourself. I'll be back and, uh, you know, train harder and get ready and, and come back and, and make it happen. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back, but I mean, I don't know how long. I got the heart for it. I'll be back. Don't try to tell these guys that wrestling is fake.